Uh, Dr. Gurkov, uh, you've done uh, research on amiodarone autotoxicity effect. Uh, please tell us what are the preliminary reports of uh, your uh, study. Well, um, everything uh, started with uh, one, uh, one gentleman who was uh, presenting to us with severe ataxia and, and gait, uh, unsteadiness uh, and vertigo whenever he was moving. In short, all the classical symptoms of bilateral vestibulopathy. And uh, he has had a complete workup, but no cause was identified. And we noticed that he had been uh, taking amiodarone for some years and it had started gradually, slowly, a few months after starting his amiodarone treatment. So uh, the, the results on his um, functional testing were uh, complete bilateral uh, function loss, which explained all his uh, symptoms. And then we went back into the uh, literature and noticed that actually uh, uh, gait unsteadiness and vertigo are the, uh, the most common uh, side effects of amiodarone treatment, about 10% in a big study. And uh, uh, surprisingly, uh, there was no vestibular function test performed uh, in the past. Um, and then now we started a, a multi-center evaluation uh, mostly across Europe but also some centers in the United States and also in, in Australia and actually uh, we have about um, 50 to 100 uh, uh, patients now with the so-called idiopathic bilateral vestibulopathy and it turns out that about 10 to 20 percent of them are actually caused by amiodarone um, or at least associated with amiodarone uh, treatment so this is a strong uh, uh, indicator that this might actually uh, be a causative agent. Uh, everybody who knows of these cases or uh, observes similar things with amiodarone and vertigo or vestibulopathy is very welcome to contact us and we can gather more cases and uh, uh, find out more about this problem.